Crete, Nebraska. I'd like to talk to you about our online course, Social Cultural Geography 301. I know that some of you will not be able to, to attend the first class session at Doan Lincoln and the Fred Brown Center, so I want to provide you with a video overview of our course and how to complete it. First off, you'll notice on your screen I've, uh, I'm opening up my course, uh, which is on Blackboard, which is our lear learning management system and I'm opening it up uh, on a Macintosh uh, using Safari as a browser. However, you can open up this course uh, on a Macintosh or on a PC using a variety of browsers. Google Chrome will work, Firefox will work, Internet Explorer will work, and of course Safari will work. So what you need to do is to find a browser that you're comfortable with and try the site there. If you run into problems with the Blackboard site, on the browser you're using, you can simply open it up on a different browser and see if that will work better for you. Okay, so the first page of our uh, course you'll notice is the announcements page and you'll notice I will post from time to time announcements of the course, which I'm scrolling down here, you'll see at the bottom. Uh, I will, when I post an announcement, send the announcement to you by email as well so that you are aware of any changes or any announcements pertaining to the course. But you will always see them posted on the site itself. Okay, if you go over here to the left margin, you'll find a series of links uh, relating to the course. And what I would like you to do before you actually begin the course is to review all of the links on the Blackboard site. For instance, go to the instructor link and there'll be information about me and ways to get in, in touch with me, email addresses, phone numbers, and such. Next thing I want you to do is click on course information, which I've just done. And course information here will tell you all kinds of things about the course that you're going to want to know. You'll notice on the screen I've given you the dates of the course, that is the dates uh, the course begins on May 26th and ends on July 26th. You'll have documents about the course, in this case the course syllabi. If you click on one of these uh, links it will open up the course syllabi and you'll be able to learn about the syllabus and all the information about the course. And then you'll notice as you scroll down there's all kinds of information that you need to be familiar with as you work on the course. Okay? Okay, let's say that we've uh, gone through course information. Uh, if you go back to course syllabus you notice that you also have another copy of the syllabus here for you to look at and to learn about the course. Then you'll find uh, the assignments area. If you click on assignments, all right, this is going to give you the assignments for the course. The first thing I want you to do, though, is I want you to click this link right here and uh, take the what I call attendance survey. When you click on the words attendance survey, it's going to bring up a, a brief question, okay, like so, and you'll need to click begin to be able to see the survey question. And in this case, it's going to ask you a question about have you reviewed the course site before you begin doing the chapters. I want you to obviously review the site, then complete this survey by clicking hopefully true that you've done that, and, uh, and then go save and submit. This will indicate to me that you have reviewed the site and that you're aware of everything that you're responsible for. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to the assignments area and I'm going to leave the survey area. Okay, you'll notice uh, the next thing I want you to do is there's a discussion board post. If you'll click on these words it will take you to the discussion board which I will click on. Uh, you may have a variety of discussion boards to complete during the course. And of course it says uh, forum your biography and there's no forum there but uh, eventually you will find forums and basically to to add your comments to a forum you will click create a thread. Okay, By clicking this it will give you the ability to answer the question that I'm posing uh, in the uh, discussion board. All right. Okay, I'm going to go back into the assignments area. Okay, all the assignments for the course will be located here. And you'll notice I put the assignments by basically by chapters of the textbook. Our first important chapter of the book is called the introduction. 
So in order to get to the materials that I've listed here, click on the word introduction and it will open up a file folder with all of your assignments and all of the things I want you to do for the course. And you'll notice all the chapters are laid out here with all the assignments published for you so that you could work at your own speed through the course. So basically what I'm saying is the course starts on May 26th and you have till the end of the course to complete all of the work. You can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want, but the key is you have to start when we start and end when the course ends. And then of course you'll have uh, some assessments built in this whole area as you go through. Now you'll also notice uh, on the left hand side here you have some other items you can work with. If you, if you need some help uh, to work with Blackboard, click on that item. If you uh, want to send an email within Blackboard, you click on the email and it gives you the ability to send email to other people in the class as well as emailing any instructors by simply clicking this and it will take you to that. Oh, back over here to the uh, left menu. Finally I want to say that you have two areas. First, My Grades. Everything that you do for the course will be graded and if you click on My Grades it will always tell you exactly how you're performing with each of the assessments. So you can check on that. And then secondly, this is the link to the Don't Help Desk. If you are running into technical problems about this course and about Blackboard and you have a question, click on this link and it will take you uh, to a Blackboard uh, site that connects us to the Doan College website help desk. So as this site comes up, you'll notice it says help and support and it gives you phone numbers and email addresses for you to contact the help desk if you have any concerns or problems relating to the course. So everything is set up there for you. Of course, you can always email me if you have questions and I'll try to help you as best I can. Okay, well that's kind of the walkthrough. I hope this helps. I sorry, I'm sorry I missed you for the meeting, uh, but if you have any questions, please contact me and uh, I'll see you online.